Welcome to RichGirlNetwork.tv's coverage of the 84th Annual Academy Awards, live from Hollywood and Highland Center in lovely Hollywood, California. I'm Chin Tomasangsi, your weekend host, coming to you from the red carpet a full 24 hours before movie's greatest night. Joy Paris has been covering many of the weekday events leading up to Sunday's Academy Awards broadcast. It's my pleasure to take you into the last leg of Oscars week with this very special look at the red carpet. Sit back and allow me to show you the red carpet as you've probably never seen it before. This is the red carpet a full 24 hours before all of the pomp and circumstance begins. You and I will take a step-by-step -step walk looking at things through my eyes. Today, I'm actually running the camera and hosting. As I said, we're coming to you from Hollywood and Highland Center. It's the former Kodak Theater. Sadly, just about a week and a half ago, a bankruptcy court allowed the Kodak Corporation to remove its name from the complex as part of a bankruptcy reorganization. Very quickly, the people here at Hollywood and Highland renamed the complex Hollywood and Highland. Furthermore, this could also be the last year the Oscar ceremony takes place from this complex. Though the Academy hasn't made a final decision, we could be seeing this event coming from Nokia and LA Live next year. The area downtown has experienced a revitalization over the last few years, and it's drawing many of the prime events down that way. Already, the Grammys take place from that complex, so why not add the Oscars? However, we're not going to worry about next year right now. It's this year that counts. So join me, sit back, and let's get this thing going. This is the view as we exit from the former Kodak Theater. Right now it's littered with workmen and scaffolds and everything else around here used to put the finishing touches on the bleachers and media platforms that are being erected. I'll tell you, no matter what, the image is impressive. Right across Hollywood Boulevard you can see the building that houses ABC TV's Jimmy Kimmel Show. Jimmy will be doing his after Oscars show with Oprah Winfrey this year. The show will be seen live immediately following the Academy Awards on the East Coast and in the Central Time Zone. But here on the West Coast it's going to premiere or it's going to come on after your late local news on ABC7. In the foreground you can see the statue of Oscar. He looks pretty regal as he's standing there in the midst of all this chaos. If you look at Oscar from all of his angles, one does realize how amazing it is to be a part of something like this. Even those of us who are just covering the event feel a sense of honor being out here on the red carpet. In less than 24 hours, the stars of movies like The Artist, The Help, Hugo, and so many more are going to be passing right by this statue as they make their way into the evening's events. And you're going to have to wonder what's in their heads. Many of them are going to go in wondering if they're going to be the winner of the night's categories, whatever category they happen to be in. It's an enviable place to be, but as a filmmaker myself, it's a wonderful place to be in. Let's take a look at the area most Angelinos know ordinarily as Hollywood Boulevard between Highland and Orange Avenue. At this point, I estimate about 70% of the red carpet area has been completed. There's a lot more work to do in these hours before the actual ceremony. The area above the bleachers where selected members of the public will be seated has been covered by a canopy. That's just in case there's rain, which I believe hit during last year's broadcast. In addition to the workers who are scurrying about, you see the members of the media who are staking out their pieces of real estate, especially for tomorrow's red carpet ceremony. Oscar himself is still covered by protective plastic bags. They may not be all that glamorous right now, but that's not important. What's important is that we protect these statues from the elements or anything else that might occur, all before broadcast time. Repairs to these statues won't be possible once the ceremony begins. Many of the crews and equipment are now in place. Most of these people represent well-known media organizations. You might recognize NBC, CNN, Fox, TBS, and so many others. However, one thing you can't overlook is the even stronger attendance of the foreign contingent. 
Since I've been here, I've seen media from France, Germany, England, China, Japan, and so many other places broadcasting here from on the red carpet. These reporters are getting ready for one of the greatest days of their lives. So why not practice? Practice does make perfect. This pair you're looking at are part of the foreign contingent, and they're practicing in full dress. He's in his tuxedo, and she's in her full-length evening gown. More than likely, in addition to their practice sessions, they are doing stand-ups and filing news reports that are being sent back via satellite to their home countries. Britain, Germany, Sweden, Japan, wherever they're from, it doesn't matter. The world is watching the Academy Awards on this weekend. This gentleman is from Australia. He's here trying to get his story just right. We've been watching him for a while and he's been practicing this whole thing again and again and again. Let's just sit back and watch him for a while. Some of the other crews are actually using members of their own contingent to play the roles of celebrities. I actually heard somebody say, you're actually Viola Davis. He turned out to be a six foot tall guy, but I get it. Again, what did we say earlier? Practice makes perfect. And then there are all the rest. Shooting and filing reports that will be seen by eager movie buffs and entertainment fans all over the nation and all over the world. Other news organizations such as ABC and TV Guide have been blessed with their own mobile studios, which are located high above Hollywood Boulevard, high above the red carpet actually, and they can actually get bird's eye angles of everybody as they come in. And they can get bird's eye angles of those evening gowns that the ladies will be wearing. These studios are designed with lights, cameras, editing systems, satellite uplinks, and just about everything a crew on the move like these people needs to make this broadcast possible. Even though this setup takes up much of Hollywood Boulevard, the south side of the street has been left relatively clear. The reasons for this are twofold. First, there is a natural barrier that's created between those who are part of the ceremonies and the general public who is actually still moving freely east and west on Hollywood Boulevard. Secondly, this pathway allows the media and workers to continue moving equipment and heavy vehicles between all segments of the red carpet without actually moving them on the red carpet. Finally, let's take a walk down the storied red carpet itself. Imagine getting out of your limo and walking past the media, fellow actors, writers, directors, and others on your way into the Kodak Theater. It's a nice feeling when you think about it. And for everyone who's done film in their lifetime, it's definitely something you aspire for. So enjoy this moment. Enjoy this moment we're bringing to you right now. For everyone who is not here, for everyone who is watching from their homes, wherever you are, this is also your opportunity to walk up and down the red carpet, and we're happy to bring it to you. And there you have it. You've just been down the red carpet. We wish all the nominees the best, and we'll be right back here covering movies' greatest night as well. Join richgirlnetwork.tv's live streaming of the Academy Awards backstage on Sunday beginning at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Time. I'm Chin Thomas Angson, and it's been our pleasure to bring you our coverage of richgirlnetwork.tv from the red carpet. Enjoy the show, and we'll see you back here next year. Good night, everyone, from Hollywood, California, and Hollywood and Highland Center.